Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, we're gonna be playing in 1 million dollar CRO. Yesterday, I faced almost 1,000 other players and I qualified for the top 32. We're now in the top 32, trying to battle for the top 8. We're in 8 different groups of 4 players and only the number 1 player in each group will move on. Okay, seeing this Skeleton King, I think this guy could have Golem, but it could also be something like Royal Giant. Okay, it's Golem. I'm just going to Fireball. He will get a plus one trade out of it, but it's okay. He definitely has Golem. Unless he's running E-Golem, but I don't think he is. Yeah, it can't be with Bomber. I'm going to cycle the guards. This will be a pretty difficult matchup. I was hoping to get something else. The issue is, is that he has quite good air defense. He doesn't have too many air targeting cards. He just has the Night Witch and I think E-Drag. Maybe Bats. But it's just going to be so difficult to get through those. This Lava might be good. We might be cooking right now. Hold up, hold up. I mean, E-Drag, I guess, will kill everything. But it's going to take a lot of damage. Okay, I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. Because look at the tower. It has no ammo now. So it's not going to do that much against the Lava Hound. The pups will kill it, I think, the E-Drag. Wait, we can actually balloon. And then fireball the pump. He can't stop our balloon. He has to probably tornado to his king tower, I think. I mean, I'll take that. Pretty good start to a very difficult matchup. Our only way to stop a golem is the Inferno Dragon. Man, he's up so much elixir. Yeah, so the issue is we can only kill it with an Inferno Dragon, but he does have E-Drag and Tornado. Okay, we do have our Evo Zap up next. I know Evo Zap plus Fireball will pretty easily kill an E-Drag, so... We should be hopefully okay here. Might take some damage, though. He has to Tornado. <laughs> the Qualm's already dead. I don't know about that Skeleton King ability. I think the Skelly Drags will take out most of this. We can just go for another Lava Bridge. He wasted the E-Drag, so he has a very bad cycle right now. Okay, he did not want to do that. I'm just going to balloon. We can zap onto everything. I don't think we're going to break through, but our Lava Hound is chipping so well. If he had Cannoneer, I feel like he'd be winning by so much more right now. Wait, I think that's death damage. Nice, it died. The E-Drag. Okay, we're looking pretty good so far. It's not over yet, though. I'm just going to go aggressive. Don't want him to build up a big golem push. Okay, we can't deal with this too well. We just have to try to get a fireball. No damage for us, but at least his stuff is dead. We can balloon too, because his tower is out of ammo. You have to play a very certain way against Dagger Duchess. You can see we're doing a very good job. He might be dead. Wait, I think he's dead. I think he's dead. That's a hit. That's a hit. Dude, I can't believe we just won this matchup. I'm not even that good with Lava Hound. I forgot to mention it, but each match is a best of three duel, so that means we can only play each card one time in the entire best of three. We now have a pretty interesting giant monk deck. My coach just gave this to me. I'm not sure if I can do well with it. It's kind of a weird deck, but he said it should be good here, so we'll see. Okay, little prince and knight. Uh, I guess this could be any type of cycle deck. Might be drill. Could be minor, but I haven't seen much minor recently. Okay, look, guys, we can go in for the Monk ability. It's going to get so much damage. It's so good against the Dagger Duchess. That was a lot of damage. I didn't count, but that was like almost 300, I think. Okay, we do have to log, I think. Better to be safe. We can Evo Bomber the bridge. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a weird deck. We have a basically giant beatdown deck, but... The Monk is really going to carry us in this type of matchup. And also Evo Bomber is pretty nice. He's saying good game, but I feel like he has a good matchup. I don't know. I'm going to Giant in the back. I mean, the nice thing here is that Dagger Duchess sucks against Monk, but it's also very bad against Giant, I feel like. Well, not very bad, but not very good either. We could Monk here, but I just want to be a bit safe. First, see what his final cards are. So he does have the Bomb Tower version instead of Tesla. Have to monk. I think we have to log two. Oh, he messed up the bomb tower. Only one tower is on the giant. It's going to get some damage here if he doesn't do anything. Wait, he could be in big trouble. We can ability. 
Will be some reflection damage, not much though since the tower is out of ammo. Okay. I know he does have the evolved wall breakers. Yeah, I'm gonna hunter here and I think we have to log too. Very nice defense. I don't really know about that ability, we can just fish him in. Pretty even so far, we do have both of our evos in cycle. Wait, hold up, he's down a lot of elixir now, but that miner will get so much damage because our tower has no ammo. Oh, dude, look how much damage that is. If they miner when you have full ammo, it only gets two hits on the tower if you have duchess, but if they go for it when you have low ammo, they get so much damage. We can poison early. <laughs> we kind of have like that old school giant poison deck. With some new cards. I'm going to ability. Beautiful ability. Okay, honestly, nice miner by him. Wait, our bomber, our bomber! Okay, one hit, I'll take that. Very nice poison value. We already have our ne next push going. Honestly, guys, I never even played this deck before, but we're doing really well. I don't know why it's working, but I guess in this current meta, it's just good somehow. I'm going to pop the ability. Oh, no. Would have went backwards anyways, though, to the miner, so I guess it doesn't matter. Ooh, that's a good bomb tower for him. But we could just giant the bridge. I feel like he's in big trouble. His tower's not going to do anything, and he's not going to get back to the bomb tower right away. Oh, the bomber, the bomber! Oh, nothing. Okay, I'm just going to go in for the late poison. I don't think that'll be tower, or will it? One more? Okay, not quite. Okay, we just have to defend. I'm gonna Hunter. And that should take out the Wall Breakers. Okay, we can Archers. And just log everything away. I think we're fine. <laughs> he messed up the Wall Breakers. Okay, Poison should do just about enough. I think it should do exactly enough, pretty much. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a good game. Very nice win. Alright, we're in a new duel against Akaza. We have Golem Pump. I'm not going to play anything here. I might just cut back to you guys when the match starts. Batram should get fully countered pretty easily here since we have the Dagger Duchess. Pretty much everyone is running it in CRL. I'll cycle the Bomber. I just want to get to our pump. So I think he either has P.E.K.K.A. or some Barbarian's Bridge Spam deck most likely. Hopefully he doesn't punish us too heavily. For this. Bandit will get some damage. I don't care too much. Okay, it's P.E.K.K.A. I uh, just have to take the King Tower activation. And we can pull this P.E.K.K.A. way up high. I think we should be okay, but our tower's not really doing much at all right now. Unfortunately. Oh, no. Oh, the P.E.K.K.A. Oh. Oh, no, we're dead, man. Okay, I'm going to try to go for the ability... And our tower is so bad when the ram is already connected on the tower. I think that's good game. You know what, maybe I should have played the Skelly King down low instead on the battle. I didn't think those barbs would get so much damage. We have some pretty good opponents here in this... I don't know, this group. So, can't really afford to lose a duel. Or at least not many. There's the Evo Zap. I'm gonna just spam everything and, you know, pray something works. Okay, we can Evo Bomber now. This might be our only hope, but... Is that really gonna get that much damage? Oh, it's not even on the tower. Oh, man, he has double small spells, so just kind of hard to spam him too much. I think it probably is over for us. I'm just gonna Golem. Oh, that's still got a hit. Doesn't really matter, though. I feel like we don't have too much of a chance unless we can get a nice push here somehow. Yeah, that's Tower down. I don't know, I feel like I can sometimes beat this matchup. If you've got a nice pump lead early on, you can sometimes win, but... Yeah, just kind of an unfortunate interaction right there against his pencil. Alright, then we're down 0-1, to one, but we can still come back. Okay, we're in the next match. My coach gave me Graveyard Cycle. I saw a lot of people asking why a top player needs a coach. The main reason is just for them to give you decks. It's not that they know how to play the game better than you, it's just that... They're very good at deck picking. Okay, so I guess he probably has one of those broken Goblin Drill Cycle decks. I don't know how this matchup will be. We do have Valkyrie, which is of course great, but we'll see. 
I'm just going to graveyard aggressively. I feel like we can get away with it most likely. Hopefully we get some lucky RNG with the graveyard. Okay, not too bad at the end. A little bit of damage. The one issue here is that we don't have any log in our deck. Which might make drills a little bit more tricky to stop. I'm just going to ice tiny and then snowball. Just a little bit of damage for him. We have to win this though, because we are down 0-1. to one. But honestly, I can't be too mad about the loss, because I feel like he probably had match up there. I'm not even certain, but yeah. He's going to have to poison every time, I think. Wait a minute, this might be some nice damage, because his tower is out of ammo, that's the thing. I mean, just a couple skeleton hits, not that bad for us. Not that good either, though. Pretty nice Tesla forcing out the ability. We have to ignore the Valkyrie, unfortunately. Should only get one hit, though. I'm not really sure if it matters too much whether we go in the same lane or opposite lane in this matchup. I feel like either way is fine. But I'm just going to keep on pushing on the right side. Wait, look at the Valkyrie. Okay, that's some nice damage. We'll see if he tries to go for poisons on our queens or not. Oh, the Tesla <laughs> just stayed underground. Doesn't really matter at all, though, to be honest. Wow, that got, like, no damage. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna Evo Valkyrie. Good thing I didn't try to predict it in the front. You have to be so careful against Drill. Even if you have Valkyrie, they can still get so much damage sometimes. If you predict wrongly. I'm gonna poison this queen. We can also push it forward into our Evo Valkyrie or force out the ability. Hmm. Okay, perfect, perfect. I'll go for the pre-Valk. He does waste the poison. I feel like he might get away with it, though. We don't really have the best hand right now, but we just have to try to get a bit of pressure. I'm just going to go on this side. I'll pre-poison, too. Hopefully, we can somehow get some lucky chip damage. We are winning, but we're not getting much damage, surprisingly. I think Princess Tower is better against Graveyard than Duchess, but Duchess is still quite good. Okay, nice defense. He may have to ability, or I guess not. That just is quite good against Queen, though. Oh, this is bad. We're getting outcycled. Okay, could have been worse, but I'm still not liking this too much. I'm going to go in for that graveyard. See if we can get something going. Wait, that's kind of a bad Valkyrie. A little bit too high, I think. But that's not much damage for us. Ooh, I don't like this too much, guys. We have to try to get a very nice Evo Tesla here. Should work out pretty well. We can Evo Valk. Nice prediction. We are predicting pretty much all of his Goblin Drills. Which is great. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the Queen. Wait, that's a very bad poison. I think that's a very bad poison. We can just go in now and... I guess he's gonna Valkyrie, but this might be some nice damage. I don't know why he keeps on going for the Valk so high. Wait, Graveyard, Graveyard! It's getting damage. It's actually getting damage, finally. <laughs> Let's go! I think... Yeah, we won, we won, we won. Let's go. Okay, one to one. Alright, guys. It's still a do-or-die situation. We're now one to one against this guy. We have Hog Earthquake. I'm expecting some type of heavy deck from him. Nice Fire Spirit. Okay, so Archer's Tornado... I think he has Electro Giant. This guy's known for running E Giant. E Giant is quite a bit better than it used to be. Yeah, it is E Giant. It's quite a bit better in this Duchess meta compared to the Cannoneer meta before. Honestly, this matchup isn't as good as people think. I mean, some casuals think it's very bad because they usually have some good hog counters, but some other people think it's not bad for Hog Rider since you can defend well. But I feel like our Inferno Tower is not going to be too useful. Oh, he actually predicted that. I don't know why he would do that without knowing we had it, but... I guess it's okay. The issue is, in this matchup, sometimes they don't even break through. They just lightning cycle you, and you can't do anything about it. My coach just wanted to give me Hog Earthquake, but... 
I don't know. I feel like Duchess counters this so well. I saw people commenting yesterday that I wasn't really winning much with my main deck. It's just very weak in this meta. But hopefully we can change that today. I'm gonna Firecracker. I was actually winning quite a bit with Hog Earthquake in the CRL qualifying phase. Ooh, very bad bowler. I think that'll be a lot of Firecracker damage. Not sure if he has any way to kill it. Wait, please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, let's go. Oh. Okay, but it's okay. It's okay. We can Hog Rider. He has no ammo left on his tower, which is great. Just gonna Evo Skellies. Okay, forcing out the tornado, so that's pretty nice. Oh, the Hog Rider! <laughs> How did that get a hit? How in the world did that get a hit? <laughs> Against the Goblin Cage and Tornado. I'm gonna Evo Firecracker. We definitely have to go opposite lane in this matchup. Okay, perfect. I knew he might Lightning. But, yeah, it's really hard to get any Hog hits. I feel like we kind of have to go on the left side at this point. I'm just going to keep on spamming Firecracker. The issue is, is that he might start to Lightning Cycle us pretty heavily. And also Evo Bomber is a bit of an issue. He may try to go for it. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. He can get so much damage with Evo Bomber so quickly. Okay, I'm going to Inferno Tower. I don't think the Bowler will go for it though. But we should be okay. The Goblin Cage should just die pretty quickly here to our stuff anyways. We just have to keep on spamming Firecracker and I guess just try to Earthquake Cycle. We can Earthquake this. Ooh, nice Firecracker damage. This matchup should be very good for E-Giant actually, but just the Firecracker itself is so good. And I feel like he's not playing too well right now. It's definitely not a bad matchup for him. Not that bad at least. Oh, the Firecracker! The Firecracker! That's why I like Firecracker. Firecracker never lets me down, man. Except sometimes when it doesn't shoot for 5 minutes straight. But that's about it. Okay, this will be some nice Firecracker damage once again. <laughs> I just love it in this matchup. There should be no way Hoggy Q can beat a building tornado deck. Oh, that's actually on tower. But we can get our King Tower up here, which is going to help out. Ooh, this is a bit interesting. I'll go for the low Inferno Tower. Good thing I didn't play it up high into the Evo Archers. He can't Lightning in time. It's going to die, I think. Okay, we do have our King Tower up, so it's going to be a lot easier to defend. We're looking really good so far. Pretty good deck pick here by my coach. I mean, my coach just knows that no matter what matchup I can get, I can pretty much always win with Hog EQ. Okay, he's giving up. Okay, we won the dual set, 2 to 1. Okay, guys, I was just waiting, but I'll play something once Double Elixir hits. We can E-Giant. I'm pretty sure he has Lava Loon. This should be a good matchup, but anything could happen since he just Lava first played us. <laughs> Hopefully he has the version without Tombstone. If he has guards, he's not going to have any way to kill this. Oh, he does have Tombstone. But Mother Witch might cook here. We can Lightning all of this. Hold up, Mother Witch is cooking. Wait, we can we can do this. Tornado everything. And keep our Mother Witch alive. No way. Hold up. This man is in big trouble. <laughs> this man is in big trouble. <laughs> we have another E-Giant. I don't even know what to say right now, but stuff is just happening. Another Mother Witch, another Mother Witch. Mother Witch is just harassing this man. This man needs to file a lawsuit against Mother Witch ASAP. <laughs> we just spam, we just spam. Okay, the tower's not really reloading much, so our E-Giant isn't getting too much damage, but... We're in a really good spot. He has to respond to our Phoenix still, I'm pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in for another E-Giant. See, this is why you have a coach, guys. This matchup is very nice. My coach probably sniped... The deck he's running right now. This guy has a very good coach too, but looks like my coach picked better. Okay, hopefully Evil Bomber can get on the tombstone a bit. Okay, nice. Nice. We do get our King Tower up too. Okay, I think that's good game, honestly. Oh yeah, the Bomber too. Lightning should take it. Very easy first win. We're in the next match. I beat this guy yesterday actually, so I know I can beat him again. The thing is, guys, we have to not just beat him, but I'm pretty sure we have to beat him 2-0. Because he's currently 5-0 in this stage, and I'm currently 4-1. This is the very last duel right now, so 
I think we have to beat him 2-0 because if I just win, we'll be both 5-1. But I think he might have the tiebreaker over me. I'm not sure though. But I don't want to take any risks. I honestly have no idea what he's running. It kind of looks like a graveyard deck. I did see he was playing a bit of graveyard before. Okay, I think it is graveyard. Can't really kill the phoenix though right now. So just have to let that die. All good though. Just want to play it a little bit slow for now until we figure out his final cards. Hopefully he doesn't have any building. He might either have a fisherman or something like a bomb tower. Not sure which one. The phoenix will pretty much get fully countered by our tower so we don't have to bother with it too much. I'll just cycle the little prince. Guys, I have a very good idea right now. I'm not sure if it's going to work though. If it does, we might just win the game right now. So look. I'm going to Giant Skeleton here just to distract him. Okay, it isn't to the poison, but it's fine. Because look, he's distracted now by the Giant Skeleton. And look what we do here. We go for the Fisherman like this, and it should activate our King Tower. Unless the Skelly King dies too quickly, which it might. Let's go. Let's go. It's not over yet, but I'm pretty sure he has Graveyard. And of course, Graveyard sucks with our King Tower up. You know what? I'm just going to RG. I know he has Evo Skellies in Cycle. We can just Rage this up. Yo, this is so good. We can just arrows this too. We have our king tower up. Doesn't matter if we're a bit aggressive. I think we're fine here. We can just go in for the evo archers. We should be all good. Dude, I'm so smart for the king tower activation. If we win right now, I, I'm pretty sure we qualified for the top eight. They actually have no prize pool anymore for top 32. You only get money if you get in the top 8. I think you get about 1,500 for top 8. I'm going to Evo RG. I don't really care. I know he has Evo Archers. Kind of badly placed though. I don't think it's going to go for the RG. Yeah, just running away. Man, look at that damage. Okay, he may try to Graveyard. If he even has it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was kind of wondering. Not going to really be any damage for him, though. We can go kind of aggressive here. I'm just going to RG, and then Fisherman to block his Fisherman, if he tries to play one. And I think we got it. He has no way to stop this. Let's go! We're qualified to the monthly final. It feels so good. Sometimes I either see haters in the comment section or wherever else. They can keep on talking. I'm going to keep on doing my thing. We're going to be up against Mugi first round, the current Clash Royale League world champion. And if we beat him, we might face Mohammed Light second round, so this could get interesting. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!